Ryan's tables tomorrow night, and I think Ryan's going to be serving, which is awesome, because for years he was the busser and I was the server. Um, you go, and, um, hi, this is Ian, and this is me, and this is Mr. Cuervo, and we're getting ready for another round of alcohol and entertainment, because you see, uh, Made of blue agave. I wonder what that is. Agave. Agave. Sweet. Show my. I show the public my ignorance of oh. shit. What is it? My neck, dude. Yeah. The deep stretch. I haven't done the deep stretch because I feel like whenever I do. Okay, because the thing that inspires me most to do deep stretch is when I'm around other people. When I'm around other people, I realize how tense I am, because I see how tense they're not. So, then I'm like, oh, oh, that tense. So I, I gotta stretch. But then, when I stretch, when I deep stretch around other people, it's like, you see someone do a stretch, and it's like, whatever. But then when you see someone, like, all of a sudden, this deep, like, strange, like, almost, like, methodical, like, magical place right in front of you, like, two feet away or eight feet away from you, people are like, they interrupt me. Like, I'll go into this deep stretch and then I get interrupted. And when I get interrupted, particularly touched, like physically, like touched while I'm mm -hmm. doing it, it's like this electro shock through this, like, really delicate system that, like, ah, uh, and I'm, like, so disappointed that I would even try. So I'm, like, so, the, so to counteract it all, I just don't stretch at all. And as a result, I've got all this tension. Well, you know what? This might ease some of the tension. I mean, sometimes uh, when, um, uh, Sometimes when I'm having a hard time sleeping because of pain in my back, I take some wine coolers and that kind of eases, eases things up. So, so, um, I don't know how much, I mean, why the heck do they interrupt your stretching? I don't know, because they're like, he looks so comfortable and calm. I gotta know. <laughs> I'm like, gotta know what? They gotta, they gotta, they wanna be me in that moment. They wanna feel everything I'm feeling, and I'm like... Well, you know, I'm pretty sure that uh, there's moments when they're just wondering what it is, and mm -hmm. no subtext. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't spend time with these thoughts. Why is the that one stretching, deep stretching in front of other people and stuff? Uh, but, um, so those of you who don't know, it does not take much to, you know, uh, make me be falling down drunk. Well, these are my new glasses, by the way. I might as well take them off, because, you see... Yeah, I just got them today. Um, I might as well take them off, because... Dude? Huh? New glasses? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, actually, I, I had the frames for a long time, but I didn't have the money to put the lenses in. But now I am... Anyway, uh, I'm going to be falling down drunk here in a second. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Motherfucker. So... How you feeling? Ah. <laughs> Is that strong for you? Yeah. Holy shit, I'm about to get so oh, fucking dude, blasted. Dude, hmm? Have at it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to wait until that first shot hits because I'm... Mm -hmm. Saturate the fucking stomach, dude. <laughs> Liver and but stuff yeah, and that's... innards and... Maybe, maybe you're onto something with your speed, I don't know. What do you mean I speed? Because so, you were going to do a second shot right away. Yeah, I decided... Ooh. Dude, tequila. I decided to wait on a second Fantastic alcohol. Amazing. Best one, I think. I think so. Oh, shit. This is fucking heavy. Oh! <laughs> so we ran out to the bar. I don't know. Should I not? Uh, like, ah! Uh, I'm just so frustrated. Speak! You like, heavenly peace! Should I? Okay, just tell him. Like, I'm like... I used to be like... I, I would tell you about what I did before. And then it got to the point where people were like, Ian... I don't care about what happened before right now. Let's talk about right now, right now. Or let's talk about you, the other person wants to talk about them. Like, they don't want me to talk about myself. So then I was like, oh, okay, I shouldn't go on about what I did anymore. So I'm trying to cut that out and just be like, in the moment. So I'm like, the only, I mean, music is what really keeps me in the moment, because I just pick up the guitar and just play a song. But like, other than that, I don't really know how to be, like, be in the moment. Like, what do I just pick up something and be like, 
Ooh la la! Ooh la ooh la la la! It's like, yeah, it's in the moment, but like... Yeah, eat some of this. Yeah, eat, I could eat the toilet paper and wipe, wipe my ass, smell it, like... Or I could talk about how I had diarrhea a couple days ago, and like... Oh, no, 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 talk about the people. Talk the guy shooting shit out of his ass when he was in the river. Like Ted? The guy. Was, yeah. Like they had life jackets on, and they were like, got out of the raft, and they were floating, and they pulled their pants off, and they shit into the river, and they shit floated. the wrong lid on the fucking thing. So I think what it came to is, like, it is good to talk about the past. Like, people like hearing good stories. Yeah, well, especially like, about, you know, shit being shut out of assholes. But not that we went to Dusty's earlier. Wait a second, they got the wrong thing again. Uh, but that's okay. I said I wasn't going to mix them, but I will. For some reason, somebody said that they're what? I don't need the caffeine, though. No, you don't. Thanks. This is more for me, because it keeps me from eating crap. Wait a second, what is in this shot glass? So drink crap to not eat crap. It's a good logic. I learned that from Jay. Brilliant man. Yeah, Jay. Except for when it comes to spending money. Or drinking Diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. So. It's like smoking cigarettes to lose weight. Really? Do people really do that? Because I don't think so. You know why? When I stop smoking, I want to eat more, so I got to keep smoking to stay stay thin. I mean, thin well, are you talking about like, smoking yeah, weed or meth, cigarettes? Crystal meth will get you thin too, and ruin your teeth. I no, yeah, the cigarettes. Cigarettes. Well, I have no desire whatsoever for cigarettes. I always find them pretty disgusting <laughs> shit. Should I smoke a little bit of resin? <laughs> Here we go again. Sure, go ahead. It's junk, dude. It's so bad. You can go ahead and smoke the resin. The thing is, I don't think... See, I have this theory. That if you're stoned, but you should know that better than me. If you are stoned, and you drink alcohol, <laughs> doesn't the alcohol dissolve the effect of the THC? Mildly. So what's the point of smoking the resin? It's just going to get hindered by the fucking alcohol and... Entertainment. Yeah. Dude, a huge hit of weed would be so bad for me. Really? Why is that? I don't need it. It's just like, it'd be like eating a fucking cupcake or something. Eating a fucking cupcake. <laughs> like a yummy ball of sugary. <laughs> ah, hi there, me Harry's. Yeah, the thing is, we don't we don't have to edit the video. And uh, there you go. Oh my God, it's hitting. I, I'm gonna have some of uh, the special things to get ideas and and uh, you don't have to edit the video. I love the honesty of these drunken videos. You don't think they're too nonsensical? No, you see, uh, it's the unfiltered mind is actually quite pleasant to watch. Because uh, think about how the people are going there through their days, depressed and whatever and whatever. And being, hey, having to hold themselves back from society. And then suddenly you learn these, these two crazy guys who are just drinking and just being themselves because they have no filters. The alcohol dissolves the filters. Mm. Like I said before, or at least I think I said before. Well. Tequila. Awesome. <laughs> Gold. Sorry to interrupt what you're saying. Money. Awesome. There's no such thing as an interruption in a drunken video, there's only addition. Plus, uh, interjection, interaction. Oh, pad me om. Layers. Holy shit! You know, I think that we shouldn't even waste time with wine. You should just do drunken videos and tequila always. Oh, 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 oh! Shirts coming off. Attention, all shoppers! Shirt is coming off on aisle ten. Did you guys know that my stomach looks like that? This is my body. This is what I live with. Sit your ass down. Here's the thing. He thinks that he's got a stomach because you know it's <laughs> that's just normal. Yeah, you have to crack the shit. shit out of my girlfriend. You used to crack the shit out of your girlfriend. I'd be like, I'd be like, hey. I just turned. Okay, okay. Now, you are forcing that out. That's the no, topic. this is this is no. No, way. Is, is, I'll be totally relaxed. It's all the food I ate. Maybe you can't see my back. I think my back's curved in a little, though. Man, I tried to explain it. Sit down. Dude, look how much food I fucking Bullshit. ate. Bullshit. Sit Way down. Way more than my body needed. 
And I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm stop like, bending him. Hey, hey, I'm a muscle. Hey, I've got a flat stomach. Oh wait, I've got massive amounts of food in there. Okay. It's not the food. The food is long gone out of your ass. Not yet. Yes, it is. I had a bunch of pasta and meat earlier. Like today. Like four hours. Ago. Shirts coming on. <laughs> Shirts coming off. Shirts coming on. Shirt on. Shirt off. Breathe in. Sure. Deep. Breathe out. Ah, uh, UPS. Are you, are you paid by UPS today? Uh, not yet. Fuck it, I'm gonna shut. You know. Oof. Oh, man. That ball is awesome. Too bad I can only have it like once a month or so. Okay, people. People, you watch you and be depressed every tonight. But, it's all over. I mean, I, if you look. Whenever you see Ian go through, I'm gonna talk like you're not here. Uh, whenever you see Ian do that thing where he talks about being depressed and going stir crazy in the apartment, you have to understand he has good friends who will stick around and help him up. Um, if he only reaches out to them, they'll come, you know, and talk to him, and he'll be fine. Uh, he has to be reminded sometimes that uh, we're all we're we're all his friends. You guys are his friends. I saw, I saw the comments you people posted in this video. I know you guys care about him. That's good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I saw this one video. Do what you want to do. You have to help yourself first before you can help other people. Thanks, Gung Ho, for hostess. Yeah, I, I'd like to, to take a second here to speak about this comment that says, Maggie, Christian, and I all suggested to you the last time, Scott, that you should concentrate on something tangible and realistic. Making enough money to sustain yourself off of YouTube isn't realistic for you. Look at the top subscribed people. You're not like them. You need to find something proper, as in not catching lightning in a bottle randomly on YouTube and work with that to make money. Okay. So, my question to you is... What, do I think? what is wrong? I mean, what do you feel is wrong with that comment? I thought it was very I'll sensible. You, very, very genuinely, the word proper is the gayest word I've ever heard. Oh, is it gay? Is it? Is is it? <laughs> useless word. Proper. The fruit. Proper is fucking faggoty. No offense, gay people. Proper. Look, it's not proper. You want proper dude, stuff a stick in your ass, put it as far up your ass as you can get till you feel like it's in your stomach, and maybe that's proper. Proper has no realm of <laughs> well, You want something proper, dude? Maybe t sip a cup of tea that's this big with your fingers like this. Mm, mm, yes, mm, it's very proper. Mm, yes, proper. Mm, proper, 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 proper. <laughs> that's proper. That's extremely proper. Oh, and, 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 so that is the that is the fucking flavor of that comment. No, no, listen to me. He has a point. His thumb is, after all, is an IQ of 200. He's got a point. Now, it depends on a couple of things, though. It depends on whether or not his definition of proper is your definition of proper. proper. What do you... Okay, let, let, let's, let's play that. That's, that's, that's because, society's yeah? idea of what's right. Is that what you think he meant? Yeah. Just that. Yeah, get a job. Clock in. That kind of thing. Um, I mean, whatever he thinks. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks, but that's what That can proper. be kind of... Really? Why would you? It's like, dude, get in line. Why would you believe Listen, that, that, that is proper? Comment, Stop trying to get in for free. Get in line. Go to the back of the line. Which is fine. I understand that. I've stood in the back of the line a lot, and I, I will. I mean, I'm not like looking for an easy fix. This YouTube's not an easy thing to do to make YouTube videos every fucking day. Or, it's not or an once, easy thing. Once a week's a little yeah. easier, but it's still not easy because you got to have a character that you build for the world. Like everywhere you go, I like, admire. Your work here on YouTube and your commitment to it, because you see, after all this time, everybody's watched you go through all these things. But the one thing that's been constant in your life, in your life, in a complete sense, absolute sense, is the YouTube communication. You know, the reason why it has changed it many times, you see, but however, you've always been there. So maybe you, you'd like to tell us what you get out of this. I love you. I tell you, what do I get out of YouTube? Just, yeah, no, it's no, like no. The, the people, it's the people that I've met. Like, I was thinking, my thought process was the, the, the ability to log on to the internet and, and get a new email from someone I never met 
with some information that I never knew that helps me piece together something that I didn't know I had to piece together or could piece together. And it's like, dude, when I live in my normal everyday life with my friends every day that like live next door or live I call them phone, you don't get that new stuff. Like they don't they're not like, hey Ian, new reality twist. Would you say that you were addicted to um randomness because, I mean random input because see these people are completely random they, uh, you're being watched by probably one about you know say 1,000 people or actually like uh, 500 to 1,000 people that's a lot if you put all these people in a room most of them you probably wouldn't care to be friends with I don't know like I know, Tom, I know Thomas I know Don Endless Mountain I know Sierra Blue I know I mean I don't know like I haven't had conversations with Sierra Blue and Endless Mountain Thomas and Don I know Donna, I haven't really hung out with Tom. I still want to know. Farming is for me, I kind of know. Loose, I <laughs> what? Know. Farming is for me? That's awesome name, oh, dude. Nice. Grow chickens, uh, not grow chickens, raise chickens in the backyard. Yeah, I don't I don't, don't think you should bury a chicken and wait for chicks, a chicken tree to to pop up. Um, chickens, dude. Chickens, awesome. Ducks even better. Yum, yum, tree, yum. Yeah. Fuck, I'm getting hungry again because I'm thinking of ducks. Ooh. Yeah, no, no. I want to see what's dude, going on. Tired of crap? Tired of crap there. So I, I do, I mean, I know I'm kind of, but randomness, I do like new people. So, so here's, here's the thing. Back to the Thomas, the Thomas initiative. The Thomas. The Thomas. Tell me about the Thomas. Well, he's got, he's smarter than us, so he got, he has got to have a point. The Thomas. He's smarter than everybody else on YouTube. So this, this really, the Thomas is the smartest horrible to have an IQ. In the world. Yeah, I know. It must be horrible to have an IQ of 200. I mean, what, what do you do with all that? Well, you sit in an apartment in Sweden and make meatballs and <laughs> you teach people. I mean, you teach people. That's yeah, that's that's a good choice. For somebody as intelligent as Thomas, I think that's a cool yeah. one. But I think you should make more videos, I think. Yeah, I would like sure. to make more videos. Thomas, but, dude. But so I think what he was... Swedish translation stuff was good, too. Awesome. It was very instructive, too. I've always wondered how to... Uh, how do you say... May I please have a, a sliced skunk sandwich in Swedish? Uh, yeah, that's just one of the translations. I think uh, it was, no, maybe not really. I can't remember what the translations were. But I did wonder about him, and I did know. And I know that I'm getting another shot of tequila. I got this. Um, never mind. So anyway, back to what he, he was saying. If we can try and focus right. here. We can focus. All here. right. Okay, okay. Focus. We can focus on what he was saying. Okay. What is so wrong? What, why did you have a negative emotional response to what he was saying? Because he was very specific about saying that I am not like people that have a lot of subscribers on YouTube that get a lot of views, that I shouldn't try and be like that. Maybe he thinks that if I don't try and be like that, that I will be like that. That it's a trying to be like that that keeps me from being I don't like think that. that's what he said that at all. Well, then, I think he's he, think, then he seems like he honestly believes I'm not cut out for being a, a, a high... Oh, so I'm not cut out to be a YouTube star. I think we're all cut out for it if we want to be. Listen, I don't think it means it. I think he's talking about something different. I think he's talking really about demographics. He's dealing with things like, um, I mean, do you realize that adult people? Okay, let, let's talk for a second about adult people don't have that much time to waste on the internet. My like people, no, I'm a different kind of an adult. Because, you know, I'm an artist, you're a different kind of an adult, because you're an actor. And, um, and we have a lot of time to spare. But the most adults don't spend as much time on the internet as we do. And, and so, a lot of the people watching Lisa Nova, watching Dave Days, watching the Asian Parents Dude, those are teenagers. They watch young teenagers. We're not young teenagers. I have 200 subscribers, I think, does it matter. Um, you, here you go, we got Ian, he's um, a, 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 a YouTube personality, he's a lot of people watch him, 8,000 subscribers and climbing, but he's not a teenager, so those people who see him once are not coming back for, um, com I mean, some of them are coming back for comedy value, but, but the, the demographic, there's is, is all these YouTube people watching these, these edited comedies with no yeah. honesty in them. I almost did a video earlier where I was like, I'm going to do a video how like everyone talks about it. And the thing is, all my videos are going to sound like this. Because what I'm saying sounds like this. And I'm going to keep talking. And there's going to be editing involved. And it's going to keep going. And it's going to sound like this. And I'm going to tell you about what's happening during the day. Because something's happening all the time during the day. And it's like, 
You know how many fucking videos I've seen that sound like that? It's like watching the news when you get these newscasters sound like they're like, and it's like this YouTube has developed this sound of like random person X two one A seven B subscribers, <laughs> six thousand subscribers or one hundred twenty six thousand subscribers. Random fucking person sounds like this when they talk. Edit cut. Next, and then it's going to keep going, cut, to like this, cut, and they're going to keep going, cut, through what this is, cut, and then to this. And it's like, yes, I could do that. Of course I could do that. Everyone could fucking do that. But it's just so obnoxious that that's like such a popular style. But you know what? It's popular for about one second. It's kind of like the Twitter thing. I like to call that the Twitter all YouTube. I mean, explain to you all folks how it works. It works in like this. You may walk up in a video, you know, and then, and then this video gets popular, and you get you all million five hundred thousand subscribers. Now you got one million, but these people who subscribe to you are always subscribing to like one thousand channels. You go to their profile, you go to their profile, what do they do? They subscribe to five thousand different people, fifty thousand different people. Holy motherfuckers, they got like 100,000 just subscribe to one 200 million channels suddenly that number of subscribers is quite meaningless who the fuck cares about a subscriber who's never gonna watch your video because he subscribed to fucking five million fucking videos I guess I'm too loud well the only thing is it, it matters if, like, you, because I clicked uh, a couple of days ago on the subscriber page, and it like, showed the top 20 most subscribed, so I realized that people maybe have a lot of dummy accounts subscribed to them, but those people, one of those people might have ended up on the top 20, and then when someone goes to, like, hey, I've never been to YouTube before, who's the most subscribed people on YouTube? Nice profile pic. Click. This person could be my best friend. Could. Though. I will send this person money, or whatever, yeah, all that shit. Whatever. Shame on you if you think that. I'm going to buy that person's CD. <laughs> you know, it's funny. There's some people that just can't understand. I can't understand their, their popularity at all. Who? Blunty. That Blunty dude. Blunty, you know? Nate, dude. Dude, he's the biggest e beggar yeah, in the world. He's the same editing technique. And he uh, talks like this. And then it goes like this. And then to the next thing. And then he's real close. And then he sounds like this. <laughs> and then it goes like this. And it's like, how many different fucking feelings can you fit into two minutes? I don't know, dude. I, I, uh, yes, I know it's popular. I know I could have done it from the beginning. And I haven't. And I don't know that I'm going to. No, you're not. I'm not going to. I'm not, not, going to. I'm not a, The day you do oh, that. No, dude. No I could. I was going to do it for a, I'm, I was thinking about doing it just for like a, a parody of it. Just yeah. For fun. Just to do. I should do it on the station. Just do, we should do something like that. We should Why do not? A video like that on the station. I think you should. Yes, you <laughs> should. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, dude. You should always do something That's like fun. something like yeah. like an actual movie rather than just like me doing it. I mean, I could just do it as a video, just for fun, <laughs> and then, like two or three hundred people would see it. But like, you can, like do it for real, like really fucking jab a bunch of people. This costs two hundred dollars. That and that. That thing. Yeah. That thing. But yeah, I, I mean, I uh, then what? And, and then the sense of accomplishment, dude, is like, okay, you got congratulations, you got one million subscribers. Well, they get money too. Money. Sure, they get money. But they, they get money. money. They, this is the problem. I'm pretty sure that they do. Yeah. But they have to actually. Ah! They actually have to care. Um, a little bit about the subscribers to keep those subscribers because people want to feel special. They want to feel like they're special to the people they subscribe to. And um, those people are never going to make them feel special. I mean, look at William Sled. That guy's cool. He's really, yeah, he, he was really interesting. But he had this, this thing of, uh, he thought for a second he was hey, going to be a celebrity. Yeah, he thought he was going to be a celebrity uh, doing that. He could have been. He still does. Well, he's got more subscribers than we do. But, you know, the thing is that when he, uh, the thing is that uh, when Push came to show that he must have realized that, that was never going to bleed out of YouTube. He was uh, always going to be... Just, well, you got to be a good actor. you got to be fucking willing to, to move out of YouTube if you're going to move out of YouTube. I don't think he knew how to, how to deal with um, his success. He assumed he was going to be big. And then at the same time, you know, all the gay people on YouTube started like, you know, like gay god and uh, it's Chris Buckley Crocker. Buckley, um, Buckley hit the fucking fan, dude. I don't even know Michael who that Buckley, is. Buckley, what the buck? Oh yeah, what about him? He's huge, dude. He's <laughs> oh no, that awesome. happened. There's Michael probably Buckley. Yeah, no, 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 no. You are the man, Michael. He's actually really cool. You're very annoying, Michael. No, I well. Uh, now, now let me tell you something. The videos are edited 
annoyingly sometimes. I don't like. I, I don't find him entertaining. No, Mike at all. is. I mean, okay, okay. The humor is fine. The presentation isn't. Um, Mike, dude. Mike, is that his name? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm Mike. sorry. I'm talking about you. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Sorry. Michael Buckley, dude. Mm -hmm. Michael, dude. So that's why I didn't. Oh my gosh, Mike, <laughs> Mike, dude. Yeah. Now listen. What about? I mean, Lisa Nova. Ich weiß. <laughs> ah, ja. Rucksack, back, back. Alles, was du vielleicht brauchst, habe ich dabei. Rucksack. Um, hallo, ich bin Dora. No, hi, I am Dora. Und ich bin Boots. Sounds like Nova. Oh, yeah. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! I got drunk idiots no, face I and I yes. fell on my face! Yes, I did it! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> I don't know, sorry, I just went off topic here. Go no, ahead. Great. I just didn't know more foreign languages because I was going to be like, it's in German, in German, and it's in, it's in German. <laughs> awesome, dude, money, awesome, awesome. gold. Yeah, name them, dude. All these people that are famous on YouTube. Bust, yeah. Lisa, Lisa Nova. So uh, what, 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 what? Dex Flame. No, yeah, yeah. Yes. they're not real. This they're is all real, annoying. Yeah. No, they're, they're real brilliant sure, they, businesswomen. Sure, they, they, they promote all this shit, but I mean... I mean, seriously, they wouldn't you guys... People. Don't you guys love it when he just throws out the, there the idea that the sun's made of salt water? Would you love it for a minute and then you're like, ah... Oh, Hit subscribe. <laughs> no, the thing is, I, I, I wasn't consistent, and I apologize. I, I take it upon myself for the reason that I have 350 views per video instead of 335,000 or 8,000 or 6,000 or 3,500 views, which I used to have. Because for about three months or six months, I stopped making videos, and then I was like, to the point where I was like, you know what? He would fuck these viewers. I'm going <laughs> to fuck with their minds. I am not going to show up when they think I'm going to show up. And then when they, after that, when I'm supposed to show up, to be like, hey, guys, sorry I didn't show up. I'm not going to show up. Yeah. So I did that. But, it really but, kind of sense, so. then you guys know what happened. He looked up there, and he saw this tiny little, uh, no, no, not tiny little, this big joint up there saying, hey, Ian, you want to smoke a joint? And then suddenly he was back into action. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube video, and then I smoked the joint, and I was like, <laughs> first I'm going to eat some oats. And I was like, oh, wait, I'm going to eat another dude, bowl awesome. of oats. And I was like, i got to get one more I'm going to get some peanut butter. And I was like, yeah. wait, now I'm just going to get just peanut butter and oats without any water. And But I'll have a glass of water so I can like have a sip of water while I'm eating it. And I'm like, dude, my stomach is so hurt so bad because it's so full of food. And it's like 6 in the morning. But I'm like, but that's normal. Ah! Right in a row that I've done that? That's what we do when we do. I am now drunk. More to kill than I've ever had in the last fucking three years. I agree, dude. I, 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 I'm sorry if... I don't know what he's saying, but I'm agreeing. People <laughs> feel like I, I fucked them over, like with YouTube. No, you, know, um, you know, I think you have I a poor audience. A I do. Gail, dude. People like Gail, dude, that have been listening for, like, years, I think are the people that are going to be the most rewarded when I... Stop fucking with people and start like going day to like do my day job and like they're like. Oh. Please explain what you mean when I stop fucking with people. Like when I stop like being like I'm so sad, I'm a la, and I'm like I'm gonna make a thing. YouTube video in my cheap ass apartment with like no production value. This is it. Once I stop doing that, it's no, like, no, 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 no. Who is he in Iceland? And all these eighty thousand or eighty. Hey, all they stop. Who is, who is, and everyone else is like, is oh, I are. know Ian Carl, I've known him for, like, you guys are the people that are going to be rewarded. Like, you guys are the people that I'm, I'm going to know. And what, so, wait, 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 you're going to change your, change your focus? You're suddenly going to be like every other edited person say, hi, today my name is Ian Carl. No, it's like, not hey, fucking worth it. It's not video. worth it. When someone's like, take this 80 million for this, but don't make a YouTube video for six months. Ba -dum, ba -dum, I'm going to be like, okay. And you and I will not make a YouTube video for six months. And I'll have videos on other channels, and you'll see me. And I'll have so much fucking money, and you'll see me living my life. And I will not have a video because that'll be part of the thing. And I accept that. No, I accept that, dude. But the people that I know, I still know. That's the thing, man. I don't... Here's what you need. You. 
You need to understand the people who are watching them. They want to see you. See, you have an advantage here that you're not taking advantage of your advantage. See, these people want to see who you are. They don't want you to perform like a fucking clown of an offended well, this, this is my problem, dude, because I'm in fucking Hollywood and I had a goddamn manager that fucking wanted me to stop making YouTube videos. Well, okay, this is the first so I've heard of that. So, fuck me up. Tell me. Did your manager address your YouTube video yes. position? He said, stop making YouTube videos. They're too racy. Racy? They're too intense. They're too, it's too much. Stop. He right suppose... when I made to jack me, right when I had that black guy the whole time, he was like, stop. That's why I took those videos down. I was like getting like 18,000 views. And it was like, and I, I just took had a down, break ruined the, the momentum. Bob dropped me. It was fucking miserable. Hollywood jacked my ass, dude. It was horrible. Explain Bob. Who is Bob? Bob Thompson. He's a fucking... He, he manages... Uh, this, he has a management company. He's really great. He's worked for CBS. Really great guy. Awesome guy. Does not understand the new age media. He, he, he is way into, like, Lucas Grable and, like, all these new people that are, are like... Industry. Old school people. industry. And, and so the internet industry is way different than old school industry. Like, Shay Carl is way different than Lucas Grable. Lucas Grable's on High School Musical. Shea Carl's got his own fucking YouTube page. So, like, I was trying to blend the two, and I got just fucking ripped apart. And and I would say so, yeah. You see, you have to understand, industry, uh, industry people are not... They're very biased. Industry people are set in their ways, and they are mostly people who... Um, are inflexible. They don't care about the new age media. They don't care about what this technology. Everything you've been doing right now, you've been doing things that are go against their industry. They actually, I would go so far as to say they hate the new age media because it rips them off. Do you realize how many people just download movies instead of renting videos or going out to the movieplex? Do you realize how, how much the internet threatened their way of life? When you decided to bridge the old industry with the new media, you put yourself in a very difficult position. But I, 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 I admire your honesty, and I admire your decision to stick to it. But maybe, maybe they had a point. Yeah. Maybe you should have used the... F okay, people, this... I, I mean, I don't know how much... How, this is going to be an hour and a half long video, but I, I don't care. Because we have to establish its honesty. I mean, we have to keep it all in there. There are moments in this that people are going to get something from this. I want to talk about one of the greatest mysteries, one of the greatest mysteries of the 21st century, and that is Laura Segura. What happened to Laura Segura? I have had so many... Uh, I have so many, such a bad feeling about what happened to her, and it's so strange. It's not so much so who she was as what she represented. It. She was one of us. You know, you, you watching this video, you know that she was just like you and me and Ian. She was making all these vlogs about trying to make it as in Hollywood as an actress. And then she disappeared, and I'm afraid that she may be... And I don't think she. I don't think she's been murdered because I. I think that uh, her, her Twitter page is still going. But it. There have been hints that her manager did to her, what Bob Thompson was trying to do to Ian. Yeah. You know this. Group is, three management, dude. Check him out. Yeah. This, subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, and Roderick Paul. Cool guy. I, I, in fact, I mean, it's to the point where, like, I, yes, I would work with them again, like, or Bob, Bob or Rod, like, I would work with you guys again, but I also, at the same point, you gotta understand, you're my bitch, it's not the other way around, like, I'm gonna make you money, it's not, it's not the other way around, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a clown, so. No, you're not a clown. Pick me up, you But know, you see, you see. Pick me up if you want a fucking bag of holding. <laughs> bag of holding. <laughs> okay. Do you remember Lucy in L.A.? Yeah, dude. She was awesome, wasn't she? Yeah. Um, I mean, she... Yeah. What I loved about her was her talking about these things that we go through. I mean, we, you and I... I mean, Lucy, dude. Yeah. Very true. Being an artist in L.A., either an actor or a painter or whatever, 
It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world, finding representation and all of that. She used to expose all that. Just talk about that. And then she's gone. Lucy in LA. She left this mark on YouTube. Thousands of subscribers. Everybody wished her well. And now she's gone. And, and it's like they tried to do that to you, didn't they? They tried to make you stop showing vi YouTube videos. Oh, Bob. Well, we wanted it to not be so intense. Because I was like talking about my emotional abuse and my relationship and like physical vi domestic violence and shit. And I was like straight up about it, talking about what happened and stuff. And like I had a black eye. Like I just had a black eye. I was talking mm -hmm. about getting a black eye, getting hit by my girlfriend. And Bob was like, Dude, we're trying, and it was like, he was like, dude, we're trying to get you jobs on TV. Like, if people see that, they're not going to hire you on TV. And my theory was, you know what? If people see it, they're going to be like, I, I'm coming in my pants because this guy's so hot. Because it's like, unstoppably honest. Like, who, I need to be around this man. Like, that was what I was going for. But these old dudes didn't get it, so I was like, They didn't whatever. get it. But, but you know why? The, because they're they fucking 60, know. dude. Because no. they were fucking born no. in 1955 or whatever. Because they don't want to know. Because they they were they were dads were in World War II or Vietnam or whatever, and they were, they they thought that people were supposed to hate each other. But I was like, no, I'm from an era where we don't hate each other, and it's actually okay to be honest. Can you guys imagine that? I mean, 60 years ago, we were all blowing each other up in the fields in Europe and Japan. And a Pacific and the Philippines, and now we all get together here on YouTube and and talk nice crap to each other because we're all nice to each other. I mean, there's a good chance my grandfather experimented on your grandfather, but we're all just friends here. <laughs> but listen, this thing that he's talking about is very important. The people from the industry don't want to know. They don't want to know the real you, because you see. There's this, this this whole mingling uh, thing where they people need to find that you're digestible to the, to the general public. If you're the least bit offensive, you're a taboo to them. That's that's part of why. I mean, I'm, I mean, look who I am in uh, in this industry, and it's like I'm no nobody. But I'm even worse because if I, okay, uh, let's talk about Ian. He has these videos out where he's honest. They don't want to see honest. What if Leonardo DiCaprio? Okay, for for a second, imagine how what it would be like if Brad Pitt did honest vlogs about his life, like Ian, uh, Brad Pitt. Now, do you guys seriously think Brad Pitt, Pitt is you know any more real than Ian? I mean, they they have like you know uh, there's molecules uh, made in his body, there's salt in his body, body. There's uh, uh, red cells, there's T cells, there's there's veins going there. They, it's, they're real. They're the same players. I mean, it's aesthetically, they're about the same kind of people. Uh, but what makes them different? Ian has opens up so, so, so you can see what's inside. It's the workout, dude. If I worked out like Brad Pitt, dude, if I had a body like Brad Pitt, if I had like... Huge, you're, you're strong, getting, hard muscles. No, 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 no. You're getting things and mixed I, like, up. Came on YouTube you're and talking like, about hey, physicality. I'm going to take my shirt off, dude. But dude, if I fucking took my shirt off and it was like Brad Pitt's body, and it was like, just fucking rock. Like, as far as I understand. You'd be like, I wouldn't have to say a word. I'd just get on, emote a little bit, be like. And that would be it. And I'd have like this fucking amazing body. And they'd be like, subscribe. And it'd be like 60 subscribers per Yeah, week. I don't think it's like, do that I don't think it works. Then, or I'd like go out and he'd like show me walking on the street and I'd be like, huh? And someone would push me and I'd be like, oh! Ian. Or I'd be like, huh? And I'd like look at the camera and be like, and I'd have this fucking rock hard body, dude. Ian, that's not it's all it. That, that's the cells, dude. The mistake. If, if, my, if my thumbnail was from here to here, a thumbnail with a super rigid body, no, no, no. it would, it would no, no. get more they, subscribers they care on what, my face. They care about what you have inside. It's some people, you. some, the real, my, people that would be my friends would, but the people that want to give me money for, and then go about their business and not be my friend are the people that want to see my body. I don't know if yeah, it's about your like body, 90, I mean, I mean, a, a body is, that I come across in my life are the people that give me money. I think a body is important, but a, a, a dude, photogenic a face, in this, body, dude. in this, in this business, I think a photogenic face is more important than a body. Like, uh, I mean, that's true. Ian, the I face think, is the most important Okay, I, I'm not... I'm not gay. I gotta say, I think you're better looking than Brad Pitt. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's kind of um, 
No, no, no. Even when he was younger. I mean, I think that there's more to you because I, I have seen him in person. And I didn't think there was a, all that much. I think that the camera... You and him actually have something in common. I don't know if you ever noticed this. But, okay, you, you better fix your hair because you're looking like Madonna in 1981. Um, I, the, the thing is, let me explain to you how it works. The camera adds about 10 to 20 pounds to each person. So he's not really that strong. I mean, to say that, uh, I mean, he, he got people, uh, you got what it takes is what I'm telling you. I don't care if you're anorexic, if you're not um. <laughs> if you are unrealistic about, I mean, sure you're clowning around for the camera, and people are gonna think that's silly. But um, but on the whole, I mean, I don't see that much difference between you and him. Yeah, no, I'm a no. better actor than Brad Pitt. I'm are you? Actor. Yeah, I'm a better actor. He's got a better body. And Constance, sir, oh, we gotta do a, a George Clooney and Brad Pitt scene together. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's he is. Good. He has. Uh, I like him a little. He's a good I just saw Up in the Air. Yeah. He's oh, man, I, I want to watch that. I watched Michael Clayton the other day. He was, uh, he was very relaxed. It seems that the key to acting is being relaxed. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I haven't mastered it yet. I know Maggie and I have this conversation a lot. It's like, I'm, I'm old school. See, I learned how to act from people like Lee Marvin, Oliver Reed, <laughs> and the Twilight Zone, the cast of the, you know, the ever-changing cast of the Twilight Zone. I'm very old school. You guys, you, the younger generation, are a lot more naturalistic. I got De Niro, Jim Carrey are my two big influences. Really? Mine's Oliver Reed and Michael Caine. Mm. And William Shatner, believe mm. it or not. Mm. <laughs> uh, but he, I don't know how, how it works, because if you think about someone like Richard Burton, man was uh, ben, you know, venerated as an immortal almost, but the, all he ever did was... It was... Uh, Fuck, uh, recite his lines. He didn't put any emotion behind <laughs> it. Like, Richard Burton was married to Elizabeth Taylor. You know, it's kind of funny now that you ask me. The only thing I remember of him being in this was uh, 1984 and divorced his, divorced hers, and probably, in, uh, what was it? Was he in Julius Caesar, probably? Burton? Wow, that's old school. I'm old school. I'm a lot older. 36? That's what I generally say, but I'm uh, I'm actually a lot older. In your thirties, right? That old school. It's a secret. You know, I'm older than the the commentator. Commentator, if you're watching this. What? We're in our thirties. Are you in your forties? I'm not gonna tell you. You look like you're like thirty-four, dude. Commentator, if you're watching 34, this. Thirty-four, at least. Oh no, I'm a little older. Um, commentator, if you're watching this, I'd like to tell you that you are probably one of the few people, you and Gail, or something some of the few people who understand, you know, the things I talk about, like uh, pop culture references, because we're all in that generation of, I, mean, uh, I have this hormonal uh, chemical imbalance that keeps me looking younger than I am, and a lot of people say they wish that they had that, but th that actually shortens their lifespan. I'm also a twin, mm. and uh, my twin sister died when at childbirth, and um so I have some genetic disadvantages uh, that means that when you guys build the space station that's going to take humanity to the next level of evolution, I'm not going to be included. Because more water instead of that shit. This? Yeah. Uh, you know, Kurzweil. Kurzweil uh, has the right idea. He, he's the guy who believes in the singularity, that we're all going we're gonna to live forever at some point. And we probably will. There will be such thing as... Uh, Dude, do you realize this is the first time we've made a video that lasted this long? The camera didn't do that driving yeah. thing? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, before I, I keep on going, because people say I, uh, you know, I like the sound of my own voice. I do, especially when I'm drunk. And I do. But, yeah, but, <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah, but this is your channel. I mean, people are here to watch you. It's like shit, dude. Dude, so if we could do a YouTube stew, could we make that? Stew? YouTubestew.com. That makes me very... That makes me very uh, hungry. <laughs> oh wait, this is my thing. Yeah, it's all one big YouTube thing. Yeah, that's what I want anyway. Like that's because I think like okay, I'm trying to think like get in other people's minds. So it's like people with less subscribers, people with more. Because I was thinking like you, like I was thinking like okay, me and Christian make videos. Christian's like Ian has eight thousand, I have two hundred. So like that's your mindset. But I'm like okay, so when I think like oh, I'm I'm doing a video with Lisa who's got two hundred eighty thousand, I've got eight eight thousand. So I'm like okay. But ultimately, it's the same thing because 
it's all about people interacting with people. So I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like, we're all going to be huge. I don't really care. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but the measure of my success isn't really whether or not I have a whole lot of subscribers on YouTube. It's whether or not people, you know, my paintings are selling well. Um, and whether or not I have a connecting career going. But I do care that you get those subscribers because I know how much you love that. Well, it's the same I know shit, that, dude. Yeah, because I know that to you, yeah, doing this it. is what painting is to me. Eh, I just want money. I, I mean, I just... I don't <laughs> exactly. Want it's I what want, I want. I want my rent paid. I want my, I want my electricity paid. I want my fucking SAG dues paid. I want my taxes paid. People... I Gas pay. The more you watch paid, Ian, don't you paid. like him more? I mean, don't you feel like you should contribute some money to All Ian's I want, cause? I don't want your money. I mean, I just want enough. Sure, I but I mean, money. if they want to give you the money, go. why would you say no? If you want to pay my bills, that would be awesome. Without, without having sex with Ian, because I know there's a lot of old gay guys there that want to have, you know. I'll show you my chest every day. I'll work yeah. out. Let's go on MSN. We can talk about bodies. You can get naked on camera. Maybe, 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 maybe not so, so, so. I'll take my shirt off. No, 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 maybe no, not so. Four, it's not so bad. Look at naked guys, dude. See, bro. And, uh. I didn't know that. You know, well, I become friends with people. If, if somebody wants to take off their clothes while I'm on MSN video camera with them, I'm not going to be like, EW! GROSS! EW! I'm going to be like, Are we normal? I don't think we're normal. Going. I mean, I whatever. I think we have if a genetic thing. Express that. People, if you guys watch the TV show Dexter, you know people like us. Dexter is like me and Ian. We have to, we have the, this inner personality that we don't show to people around us. But then we have to go to YouTube and it explodes. Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? Would you like it with Maggie? You must be. I mean, what? it must be so bizarre with Maggie. Yeah, it's it's like a Dexter and Rita. I mean, there's all, this whole thing going on. It's like... You know, <laughs> she's completely... Um, she's completely surprised that I don't have normal reactions to things. It's she like, loves that. Yeah, she probably does. I watched that Ricky Martin video. <laughs> I don't have normal reactions to things. She loves it? Yeah, and I love her. Man, she is so beautiful. Yeah. She's oh. amazing. It was like, if without her, I, I guess I'd have only this in my life. Oh, um, I called up the Pepsi, dude. <laughs> sorry, did I hold up the Pepsi, or did I hold it? No, uh, no, I was like, jeez, I just felt like it was the Pepsi. Watch that, dude. That's nice. So, anyway. Uh, Ian, I really want to know about this this Laura Segura thing. What, what are your thoughts on her? Why she do you think she's moved. appeared? She probably moved out of LA and was like kind of had a, a shame about it, so she didn't make a video about it. Because I looked at IMDb, I haven't seen anything about Lucy in LA. I mean, Laura Segura. Well, she, she hasn't been in anything. She, she moved out here with no agent, nothing, nothing. She had a friend that wanted to be easy, so they did the. She's pretty, but like her body. And Laura, if you're watching, I, I hope I that you would watch someday. Body was not that great. No offense. But what? As a Hollywood body, Laura's body was not that great. She was kind of overweight. Well, I suppose like, if you're giving the industry a view of it, I mean, yeah. I, I thought she was I'm giving, fine. I'm giving the fucking, well, dude, she's super hot. But I'm, I'm giving the fucking L.A. version of it. She's got like a, a somewhat Midwest look. She's kind of pear-shaped. Um, okay, there, that's that. Your hips are bigger and your, your butt and your legs are, are a little thicker than whatever. But like, So... So she's not like the it girl, but like it's, it's her face is so beautiful that like YouTube buys it immediately. They're like hot girl in L.A., but they don't realize like she's like just another girl. Just six in LA. feet tall. So she's actually in L.A. trying to make it with no agent. And she's like fucking like so ecstatic when she gets her first commercial <laughs> audition. I think. Audition. Well, most of it's us an would. audition, dude. It's not a fuck. She didn't book it. She auditioned. Sure, she like goes, most of us would. Right, exactly. So everyone's like, I can relate to that. But the thing is, even if you're watching this, it, okay, so if you're in L.A. for two months, that's really fun. You get your first thing. It's so exciting. It's The novelty of it is so fun. But after two or three months, no more, man. You don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, you get an audition. Yeah, you get 50 auditions. It's not fun anymore. Like, it's not fun being in L.A. It's not fun being Lucy in L.A. It's not fun. It's, L.A. is not fun. So even as a watcher, you start to feel that. Because... It isn't going anywhere. Yeah, you, you just a regular person, guy in L.A. or a regular person in L.A. I mean, unless you, like, absorb the weather and go swimming and you're at the beach, L.A. is shit. It sucks. There's too many cars. There's too much smog. There's you too know, many and you're right. 
dude, it's it's a lot of people. It's too many people. Wow, this is so true. But the water's great. The water, dude, the beach, and the and the fucking swimming pools, and the weather is really nice. And yeah. It's sunny during the day, which is nice a lot of times. So Lisa, um, or, or Lucy, uh, after like... He's uh, very intelligent. <laughs> after like X amount of months, like six or eight months or a year or something, I think she probably got disenfranchised and... Though even even if people if she had kept making videos and been like I moved back to Nebraska I can't take it she's from Texas like, from Austin Texas. oh nice Austin dude it's a good filmmaking community I'm back in Austin I can't take it anymore people would have been people would have kept watching and she'd still be huge but but she just stopped I suppose she got huge in the way that I mean in your in YouTube that wasn't enough uh, there's also a theory going around that um, her agent absolutely forbid her to continue doing YouTube. I mean, it's with Bob Thompson thing again. I um, know, it's so weird. I, it's but I mean, Lucy in L.A. I, I, I absolutely love the video. I mean, I'd, if if Rebecca's videos had been more like the Lucy in L.A. video, I think she would have gone somewhere. I think Rebecca Rebecca should have gone with that. Oh um, man, but she didn't make her videos about that. She started doing weird shit about Pete or whatever the hell. Um, anyway, uh. I, I don't know why I get those two mixed up. They're nothing alike. I mean, with Lucy in L.A., Laura Segura, six feet tall, a uh, normal yeah, body. She's not that tall. Hmm? Laura? Laura, she's yeah. She's not that tall. She's you like, met her in real life, right? Yeah, she's like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Aren't you about six foot tall? I uh, yeah. As far as I know, she's about your size. A little bit shorter, yeah. Oh, yeah, she might have been wearing... She's cool. She's really wearing, nice. um, heels. Yeah, I like the idea of, like, a girl in L.A. Like, if that was the thing, like... I'm a, I'm a girl. I'm a real person. You can relate to me. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm trying to make it as an actor. Help me make it as an actor in L.A. Support me every way you can. And if the girl's hot, it's well, a that, that was what, dude. That was what what people were attracted to. They, they thought she was cute, and she, 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 they thought that she was somebody that they want to be around. In a way, it's the same thing with you. You know, you're you're. Um, Good-looking young guy who um, attracts a lot of um, girls and gay guys, and um, and they they're interested in you following. But you have something that she didn't have, the because you see all the crazy shit you talk about has a great comedy value, whether you're doing it intentionally or not. And a lot of people want to know, you know, if you're. Uh, Astrophysics? Yeah, if I was like in an astrophysics study group that was like a, a, a theoretical study group, the saltwater something wouldn't have been so funny. People would have been like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, is, uh, but what if like academia? But when this I put it on YouTube, YouTube, right? When I put it on the video, and everyone's like, video games, Ian, hey, funny guy, and they're like, what the fuck? It seems like co a comedy routine, but like. You know, I mean, it's not. I'm not doing it for fun. I'm doing. You know, it for I, I think people. you're much more. I think you're getting better with age, you know, and I think that you're getting more, <laughs> much more, much smarter than than people think you are. Because I don't know. It's like, yeah, sure. You you come across as um, too spontaneous with some of the scientific theories and some of the things that you do, but. Um, but it's like, come on, people, isn't he in a lot more normal nowadays than he used to be when he'd come up and say things like, oh, fuck, I forgot what he used to say. Uh, ah, the sun is made out of soda water. I manifest out of storms. I don't have to go to dusties or whatever. You know, it's like, sure, the, the basic is still there. I'm not trying to rehabilitate him. I, I think that the reality is knocking in real hard and he's beginning to notice it. And I think that Ian has... Um, in his loneliness problems, like just like everybody else, I think that uh, living in this apartment by yourself, um, he has his pros and his cons. But I think that uh, even though when you were living with David and Dominic, you missed, uh, I mean, yeah, you wanted to be by yourself, but you miss being around people all the time. I think you need the constant stimuli. You're like me. We're, we don't like to be alone. I, I, I have a relationship um uh, which is really nice to get. I mean, I was really... F I fucking hit the jackpot with Maggie, but I think that you need to be around other people. I, I think being alone in your apartment is going to cause you to go stir-crazy, and I think that um, 
I mean, hey, maybe maybe going to this 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 um, housing opportunity with your friends in Venice Beach would be a well, should be a bonus, you know. I mean, uh, I mean, I would miss you because right now Ian lives right right up the hill from me, and I can walk to Ian's house. And I, I absolutely love hanging out with Ian, and I would miss that a lot. But I think that you know we all want what's best for him. Yeah, yeah, we'll still hang out. I mean, we hang out like once every couple of weeks. I mean, we could hang out like every couple of days or every couple of weeks or whatever. But like whatever. I mean, I need to be around people. I need roommates. Bad dude. Even just, I, I don't need a, even a room. I mean, I need a room. I like having a room. Yeah, I, I wish you the best, and I, I really hope that you will find. I don't need what a room. I mean, I had this I issue with better with people. Well, I had this issue with Jay. It's like um, when he was available, I became unavailable because I went to, to Hawaii. I lived to, I lived in Hawaii for a while, and then when I came back, suddenly he oh. he had a, a relationship, and he was living in in Orange County. <laughs> and now he's unavailable to me and I can't hang out with him. But I know that he's doing the right thing for himself. I want you to do what's right for you. Yep. Don't let anything hold you back. You really need it. Oh, God. Find out what that is. And, and, and those things, you know, ye, it's like, you need the, the, the contact, you need to be able to be yourself. And I realize you were one of those people, just like me, who have been coddled all their lives by other people. But there's a reason why we're like that. I mean, you love your music, for example, and I love my art. Mm. You need to be able to do your music and be able to live off of it. I, I know that Thomas, who's smarter than everybody, anybody else in the world, it's like commensa material, he says to go ahead and, I mean, and, and find something more tangible. Yeah, but if you, right. what's the point of doing anything that you don't love? Sure, I mean, if you go by what Ayn Rand would define, she would say that you need temporary little jobs that don't mean anything, uh, so you can sustain yourself until you're at the position where you can be brilliant, where you can be a hero, live a, a heroic life. You know, that, that, that makes some sense. But if you're going to be miserable, how, how are you going to be heroic? Um... I mean, I guess if you document someone, like, suffering... It could be a heroic documentation, like after the person suffers and then they die or whatever. It's going to be like, whoa, that person, like, chose suffering. Like, that, that was awe-inspiring. <laughs> when it was 180 degrees out and there was a pond across the street, they laid down in the grass and baked to death. Like, that's awe-inspiring. I love it like, when Ian what? said... They didn't care. Like, they cared that little about the Earth, like this third three-dimensional reality that they were like, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to fucking die. Yeah, I love it when Ian said, um, once you plant the dead body in the ground, how long before a tombstone grows out of it? Yes. Uh, see, Ian does have a... Ian has a sense of humor. He's not as, uh, you know, out of touch of reality as you guys think. Um, I know Ian and... Until we get in the same room. He actually says some funny things. <laughs> Thing is, I don't have your ideas to bounce off of. Because, like, I'm so funny when I bounce off of other people's ideas. Because you got to, like, make it on the go. You know, like, I have all these, this time to think about my own ideas. So I present them in kind of like a manufactured, cheap way where you're like, Oh, Ian. Oh, uh. But, like, when it's your idea and I'm like, Maybe, but then you like you give your idea, and I'm like, I don't almost like don't want to deal with it. I'm like, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> and you're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea, but like with other words. And you're like, it's so funny that you're like going along with it, but are you going along with it? And I'm like, how many times do I have to go along with it before I go along with it? And you're like, yeah, you're I'm going too along. drunk to have any idea what you just said. It's comedy, dude. Okay, comedy. You added it right, it's comedy. But, but basically, that's my personality. I don't care, dude. I, I, mean, I don't know. You do care. You care so yes, much I'm about honestly. what you... Honestly. This is the problem. You care too much what people think. Who I cares care what people think? Earth. I care about the, 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 the human race and, like, No! Survival, you care what people dude. think about so, you. So, so, no, dude. I care about, like... I mean, I care about my children. You don't have any.
You know, that clock annoys me because it's so fucking wrong. It's gonna change you have again the soon. second, you have the second hands and the minute hands, and this one looks like everything's going it's faster. It's gonna go to like three something. Just wait. You know, like in the middle of the night, it'll change every time. And it's like I'm in a time warp, but I'm not, and I'm like, I'm let's do the time warp again. I, mean, I do care about people. I mean, I care about myself. I care about my own. People are like, please yourself, and then you can help other people. And I understand. Yes. Maybe you're just one of those people who need to please others as much as yourself. I do. I do, man. Because if I fucking if I get a check for a hundred million dollars, if I get a check for a thousand dollars, I will send two hundred of it to my dad. But that's only because he sent me thirteen hundred in, in three months or something. But like, if I get a check for ten thousand dollars, you know what? Rather than pay my credit cards, I'd send X thousand to my. Well, I was gonna say eight thousand to my dad, but. But I probably spent a few thousand, but like essentially five thousand might get. No, this is these are all uh, meaningless so numbers. Essentially, you have to way. think. You, you have to be centered. It, you can't make that kind of decision without being centered. You have to. If I, they're talking about. For they're myself, not talking about. I'm keep two for myself. No, 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 no. Forget the numbers. Just think about this. You have to be centered. There has to be a balance in your life. By the way, you're too far away from the camera. Remember. Come back in. You need Rebecca? No, you need a I Rebecca. Need, I need a Rebecca. I need a Rebecca in my life that will fucking edit my money system. That will like get what I'm getting and give it out for Look, me. Or help me give. I don't know, dude. What do you think? Give it. What is that? I need a Rebecca. I need like someone that will like. Ah, uh, like. I think that you're going through. Um, but thanks for recording that. No, I think that you're you're, you're going through some sort of a phase where you. I need someone that will help me. That will like help me like. Dole out what I'm about to get in, or what I what I'm afraid to get in because I don't know how to give it back out. So I need someone to help me give it back out. I think it just needs to be balanced and centered. Yeah, I, I need don't know where else. to find that. I need another person to help me do it that I trust. So that would that explain why. Like Rebecca, but it's not Rebecca. No, that would that would explain why you're uh, you know you you go out and you need so much human contact, so much interaction. It's because you're looking for for the the person perfect person to help you be balanced and centered. And, and it's like, you think maybe a woman, maybe maybe that will help because of the sex and some of the tension will be gone. But I, I don't know. Unless you are you are balanced and centered, you're not going to be able to find I'm pretty satisfaction. Centered. I'm relatively centered. I can go, I can like do, probably do a video blog and people will be like, Ian's so great. Ian. And like every once in a while I get so sad and I'm like, oh, if I could just hand the camera to someone else and let them do the blog for the day. And then I'd like come on at the end and be like, oh, ah! Like, I watch Shay, dude, and his wife well, holds it. It's like... I don't know who that, wife who that is. It. But I do know this thing. It's like yeah, some people were very euphoric one moment, and then another, t and then another time, they become very sad and depressed. And I think that you're like that. And I think that you I'm needed balanced, a... I'm balanced, dude. I'm just balanced without a girlfriend, dude. Are you I'm saying that man. every single problem that you have will be solved just simply by having a woman? No, but... but I wouldn't have been depressed as I was today if I had fucked a girl last night because instead of fucking a girl last night, I I masturbated on porn. And what then kind of porn? You Japanese? Porn? No, I went to you porn. Oh. I looked for old men and young women or whatever, and then I looked for a bunch of old men. And young women. I was like old Why? young. Why? I like the idea of like some old guy who wouldn't normally get it getting it from a hot chick, and then the hot chick actually enjoying it and being like, "Oh my god, he's he's got such a nice dick." Do you see yourself as an old man? No, nah, I mean, yeah, I can, but like, yeah, but I, I like the fantasy of like, yes. Well, that, my that is awesome. I don't know how to listen. My my favorite porn stars are Kelly Richards and Patricia Kennedy, and I've always thought that it was kind of funny that they all they do almost exclusively interracial porn. And you said that I'm extremely racist, and that's funny that I like uh, interracial porn, yeah. <laughs> especially Japanese porn. Oh. Well, that's not really interracial. That's all Japanese. New room massages, dude. No. New room massage. You ever see that? New no, room no, it doesn't. Maybe that's pretty good. New room. I mean, massage. I just know. Actually, you know, I'm speaking in the past tense because I, I, I've pretty much. Yeah, porn's not good, dude. But I, I think like people are like, they were not, they were like Ian, but they're like, porn is a fantasy. Porn is not. Good. It's not realistic, not, but no. yeah, it serves its purpose. I mean, I, like, I just fear that porn is kind of ruining people's image of what sex is really about because, 
I mean, seriously, it's like, tell me something. If you are on your very first date and you, and you start having sex with this this girl you just met, do you really expect her to offer you the ass? I mean, no, but most people do because they watch so much porn, they no longer have any idea what reality is. Or, uh, you know, uh, oh, there's only about three variation, uh, variations on the unspeakable, one being anal you know, sex and then the other one being swallowing and the other one being, I don't know, just, just in general. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this, but listen. Or maybe you you're better off anal? watching, what? You don't get enough anal? Well, no, 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 I'm saying better, maybe you're better off, off watching the porn. You should do more, no, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I'm not that good at watching porn, because I watch porn, I'm not satisfied. I'm like, I sit, I still, I'm still sitting in my chair, I'm like. What I'm saying is actually, you should actually have a, um, you should have a female companion, because what you really want isn't just the sex, the sex is part of it, you want the companionship. You, you want um, everything that comes with it, and uh, you, you don't really want the complication, but it's inevitable. I mean, what would life be? Do you realize that if you had everything that you ever wanted, life would be hell? I know, dude. I know. So, okay. Do you think I should saw the legs down? Yes, I think so. With the right tool. Yeah, Otherwise, you're going to have a bigger problem than you had on the big end. I'll measure it out. I'll get an electric hand saw. I'll do eight inches on each, but it'll be fine. But yeah, okay. Obviously. So, because I'm thinking like... Yes, people, it's kind of hard to convince girls to climb up there with them, especially because there's about one foot. Can you tell? Um, Here, let's show yes, them real quick. I think that there's 24 inches between the ceiling and his mattress. Less. Oh, maybe that's probably actually pretty accurate. Yeah, I would say that it is accurate because you see, I paint for a living, and in my paintings, I have a lot of 24 by 30 frames. All right, so can you tilt it up? Okay, I'm gonna put back my new glasses, which I just bought today. This is my bed. This is what I've been sleeping in for like two or three months. Okay. So what I can you see my hand? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I. So when I put my hand like this, it hits the wall. Like this is how much room I have, dude. Is that? Yeah. So like I'll be sleeping, I'll be like, kind of be like, ah. I think oh, people are just yeah. gonna think you're lazy. I'll be like, I'll keep my knee, and I'll be like, oh. But that doesn't matter. Who cares? What well, yeah, about? I'm lazy. What sure. Who I'm is? Making YouTube videos and not working at a fucking. On Wall Street. Um, I don't know about Wall Street, but the reason why you make YouTube videos instead of work, working in a restaurant is not because you're lazy. It's I'm just because you store. you have a good view of reality. And I'll have to explain to you why. You see, a lot of people... Um, let's put it like this. A lot of people put so much effort and uh, their energy and they put, dedicate their lives to these menial jobs that mean nothing. And it's like, why... But, you know, once, you, once the fourth wall comes down and you can see some reality to it. And, uh, and I'm, I'm going to have to leave you soon because, you know, uh, I'm being awaited somewhere else. So, um, are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm talking about the female companion, dude. I mean, yeah, I feel better. I'm probably going to beat off tonight, dude. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, it's it's just normal. I mean, um... I need, uh, you need satisfaction. You need an, you need to be fulfilled. Someone that's gonna like guide me, but who doesn't care? I don't know. Care Listen, if you're like, the perfect one for Ian, don't hesitate to way, talk yeah. to him. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if you've seen all of this and if you've been watching his videos, then you know. Um, Women, dude. I don't know, cause I've been editing, dude, and I'm like. One time, when me and Rebecca were like editing, she wanted to edit my videos, and I was like, "No!" I was like, "So, who? Rebecca?" Oh. We were like editing, and like I was like, I was like, N I was like, ah! I was like so resistant to it, and now I'm like editing, and like Pete, uh, Ben is like, or Danny's like, "You need an editor," and like they're like, "Fuck it." He's talking to someone else. This is like, going the whole the whole thing's going in. And by so the way. Like, I was like, you, I, I need to edit. I need an editor. But I was like, I should have like, I should have bought into the editor. Listen, if you're the perfect woman for you Ian, if you're the perfect woman for mm -hmm. Ian, and you're watching all of this, and you watch all of this, I want you to know something. 
I know he sounds kind of weird and, and socially, or you're worried about what you know what it'd be like to take him to meet your friends and stuff. But the, he's got a, a wealth of good in his heart, and I think it's worth investing into. If you were the perfect woman for Ian, you should really talk to him, because I mean he talks to everybody. He's open to talking to everybody. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure you'll be rewarded, and that. Um, Unless you're one of those shallow, superficial people who are scared off by big words like uh, by word, big words like beating off or terms like that, and forget it. Just go out there. It's realistic. There, men are all like this. We men are all you know. We all beat off. We all have sexual fantasies. We all have watched porn. There's nothing new out there. I know you like to pretend that we haven't, and but uh, once you get past that, look for what's special in each, in each one of us. Ian has a lot of things about him that are special. I mean, have you ever seen him sing? Like when he's playing the guitar and sing? I can't sing like that. Well, then again, I'm, I'm tone deaf. Um, but I can paint well. But I'm already taken. He's not. Girls, this is your chance. He's going to be big someday. Can I speak? Sure. Sorry, uh... Um, I don't, I don't, he said he wanted to speak. Don't fake anything. And so once again we found Blue's Clues. Blues, clues, I can't blues, speak. Blues. Yes, dude. This is my thing. When I'm like, oh, just because I can speak, I should speak. But I'm like, no. Well, but the thing is, yes, I should, because then you can edit it, dude. Editing, dude. I need an editor, dude. I need to edit, and I need someone that helps me edit. Not that even not not someone that help, not that someone that edits my videos, but someone that just helps me edit or whatever that means. Editing, dude, because it's like give as much as you can. You can always take it, stuff away from it. Like theater, they would always be like, just go over it, over the top. You can always bring it down easy, but it's hard to like add more to it. By the way, I would like to explain to everybody that it wasn't my green bean casserole that made Ian sick. He like kind of left out the fact that he also ate a lot of crackers with peanut butter in them. Yeah, but I will and smoked weed. But I will say that green bean casserole recipe had. So much sour cream. I told you to use two bags of green beans instead of one. No yeah. way the beans would have soaked up that much sour cream, dude. So much sour cream. Because I with love the mushroom sour sauce, cream. you only need half the sour cream. Sour so cream. half, like half an ounce of sour cream, or like an ounce of sour cream, or I don't know. Hap, hop sing say sour cream very popular in Peking. It was tasty as shit. It would have been and more crackers, dude. More oh and shit, onion, you're making dude? me hungry, dude. Onions, French fried onions. Look, the dude who posted the thing about the French fried onions, I know he didn't watch all this video, but I'd like to say that you, you, you're you right. The thing is that they didn't have that at the 99 cent store. Dude, this video can't. I mean, This video will be the longest video ever. Cheers. Okay, so let's end it right now. And then let's go um, see if... Uh, you want to go see if, uh, if uh, Little Caesars is open and get a pizza? Really? Sure, why not? If you want to. Only if you want to. I don't eat it, but uh, pizza's not really that good. Ah, oh, I love it. So, thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know, with me and you and Ian too, we can do anything that we want to do. We can, can't we? I don't even know what I'm trying to do, dude. Dude, awesome. Then, yes, we can, we can.